Hey everybody, Chris here from the Protocase team. Now today, we're gonna to revisit a topic that we did a while back on different metals, but this time, we're gonna look at specifically the differences between aluminum and stainless steel. When designing custom metal enclosures and parts, one of your first considerations is your material choice. Now here at Protocase, we offer several different types of metal, both for sheet metal and CNC machine parts. Our goal is to stock what you need so that we have the materials on hand to manufacture your parts quickly and you'll be able to stay on track and meet your critical deadlines. Of all the metals that we do stock, two of the most commonly used are aluminum and stainless steel. Now for today's Prototech tip, I'm going to do a quick breakdown of these two metals and compare them in terms of weight, corrosion resistance, aesthetics, finishing options, and also price. First up, we have weight. Of the two, stainless steel is a heavier metal compared to aluminum. Stainless steel is close to the same weight as cold rolled steel, with the same stiffness but a higher strength. Aluminum, on the other hand, is the most lightweight metal that we offer and is about one third of the weight of stainless steel. Now with that lightness comes less strength, especially compared to stainless steel. Aluminum's lower stiffness means that you must choose a thicker gauge aluminum in order to create a comparable stiffness to steel. Next, we have corrosion resistance. As you might have guessed, stainless steel wins for corrosion resistance. Of the metals that we offer, stainless steel is the most inherently corrosion resistant, and that's due to its chromium and nickel content. Stainless steel is non-porous, which also contributes to the metal's corrosion resistance. On its own, aluminum offers some corrosion resistance, but far less than stainless steel. In order to make aluminum corrosion resistant, we'd need to apply chemical conversion coating. For stainless steel, you can opt to have passivation applied in order to boost the metal's corrosion resistance. We offer both chemical film conversion coating and passivation in-house here at Protocase. Now let's talk aesthetics and finishing options. Many designers and engineers love the sophisticated look of stainless steel. Aluminum has a bright and basic look, particularly with one of the bare metal finishes applied. Both aluminum and stainless steel can be finished with their bare metal finishes, including grain finish, which means the part is given a specific linear direction via brushing, vibratory finish, which smooths the part to create a random finish via tumbling in an abrasive medium, and media blasting creates a bright, smooth, and uniform finish that's flat and non-directional. For this process, the part is sprayed with a steady stream of tiny glass beads via compressed air. Now all three of these bare metal finishes will look awesome on your stainless steel and aluminum parts. Just make sure to note each of these processes have certain size and geometry requirements, which are all outlined on our website. Now in terms of secondary finishes, you do have several options for both aluminum and stainless steel custom parts. You can opt to have your parts powder coated with the color and texture powder coat that suits your specific needs and aesthetics. And as mentioned earlier, for corrosion resistance, you can opt to have passivation for stainless steel and chem film coating for aluminum. Now, if you want your aluminum parts to be extra corrosion resistant and have as hard of a surface as possible with lightweight metal like aluminum, you can choose anodizing. Now for anodizing, parts are dipped in an acid bath with electricity in order to create a controlled oxidization that enhances the naturally occurring oxide layer on the aluminum. We have a third party supplier for anodizing, so just note that there is an additional lead time and cost for this process. Now next up we have fasteners. If you are opting for stainless steel for your design, you'll need to choose self clinching fasteners that are compatible with stainless steel. Penn Engineering has developed a line of specially hardened stainless steel fasteners that can be installed into stainless steel, and we stock quite a few. Go check out our website for a full list of all the fasteners that we do stock. Now finally, there's price. Of all the metal options that we provide here at Protocase, stainless steel would be the most expensive. That's because the metal is made of chromium and nickel, which comes at a cost. All right, so let's do a comparison. I've got two U-shaped enclosures measuring 12 inches by 10 inches by 5 inches. The stainless steel enclosure is made of 18 gauge steel, so 0.050 inches. The aluminum enclosure is made of 14 gauge aluminum, which is 0.064 inches. Because remember, for aluminum, you need to up the thickness in order to create a comparable stiffness to steel. The stainless steel enclosure costs $314.94, while the aluminum enclosure costs $280.10. Now, of course, this is just a simple example just meant to compare the difference in pricing between aluminum and stainless steel. Because everything we do here at Protocase is so custom, pricing will entirely depend on all of the different aspects of your design, including the material, the size, finishes, graphics, and hardware. 
Now our free enclosure design software, Protocase Designer, enables you to instantly quote your design as many times as you like. So I'd highly recommend checking that out. Now to recap. When designing a custom enclosure or part for your specific project or prototype, it's a good first step to decide on the right metal that will best suit your key requirements. Think about where your parts or enclosures are going to be stored and whether the design will need to withstand any harsh environmental elements. Now you should also consider if weight is an issue and that you think that through. And finally, of course, budget. It's likely something that you're going to need to factor into your decision making. Now whatever you decide, we're here to make your sheet metal and CNC machine parts and enclosures in two to three days with no minimum order. You've got tight timelines and our mission is to make what you need quickly so that you can keep your development moving. We've also got some links below in the description to key areas of our website, as well as a previous prototype tip that we did to cover all of the different materials that we offer at Protocase. So that's it. Thanks for watching this week's prototype tip video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. We'll see you back here again next.